And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and to everybody on YouTube for some Grixis Control. All right, we got a new version of Grixis Control that we have here. This was uh, built by a viewer and submitted here for a donation deck. Um, you can see it's kind of kind of just normal Grixis Control stuff, but what the one card that is definitely different and a card that I don't uh, or haven't really played too much because I don't um, I don't think super highly of the card, but I could be wrong. And that's Lockmere Serpent. And so we have two Lockmere Serpents at the top end to help us finish out um, games here. And this is a card that a lot of people, a lot of y'all on YouTube, you know, kind of ask about it. Like, you know, we need to put, like, why not Lockmere Serpents in this deck or that deck? You know, like maybe we're, we're playing some Demir Control. Y'all are like, where are the Serpents? So let's give it a try. You know, it does have Flash. That's an awesome keyword to have for sure. Can do a little bit of stuff um, as well. So yeah, let's let's see how good Lockmere Serpent is. So I'm pretty excited that we're playing two of those. We also got a couple Enter the God Eternals for some aggro matchups, some Kefnets. Um, Kefnet is certainly a card that got better with no Oko in the format, but there's still Teferi that's kind of holding it back. Um, I like that we're, we're taking more advantage of the Adventure Creatures. There's only two Murderous Rider, but four Bone Crusher Giants. I think the Adventure Creatures are really strong. Um, in Grixis, like it a lot, but it looks like instead of going with the four, four Murderous Rider, we're going with four Bedevil there, and also with Angrass Rampage. Looks like we have a good amount of artifact hate for Witch's Oven. Um, Rampage doesn't do a very good job. That's weird. Rampage doesn't do a very good job of taking down Witch's Oven, though, because they can sacrifice something and get a food token to sacrifice instead of sacrificing the oven, but of course Bedevil can target it, so Bedevil's better there. Um, couple Drown the Lock, couple Shock, couple Thought Razor, you know, like, well, all the Thought Razors, but, you know, just, just some good, clean interaction early on. Um, we have 25 land in here with the Discoveries to help us hit land drops. Um, looks like a pretty decent mana base. I, I like that we have the Dismal Backwaters to go along with the Watery Graves, because uh, obviously blue and black are going to be very important for us. Sideboard disinformation campaigns are, are pretty interesting. There's definitely some matchups like against control decks, like where you want campaign. I, I, I like that. I think that's a pretty cool little uh, sideboard card here. I'm not sure if it'll be better than Thief of Sanity, but that'll be an interesting one to try out. Um, and there we go. You know, got a bunch of bunch of counter magic over here. Let's see how this this version does. So here we go. We're gonna play till we get five, or uh, win five or lose two. See what happens first. And yeah, that's a good point that exiling cards from the opponent's graveyard could definitely help uh, with Lockmare Serpent also. That could happen. Um, but yeah, it yeah you don't really get Cauldron's Familiar unless you destroy the Witch's Oven. Um, or unless they don't have food to bring it back, basically. Because yeah, you have to do it sorcery speed. Okay, Fire's matchup. Can't handle the disinformation campaign. That makes sense. I could definitely see campaign doing good stuff against Fire's. So is that, um, is that cat secret layer bundle that y'all are talking about with like the sleeves and the tokens and the the card the paper cards and everything? Is that for sale right now? Like are people purchasing that right now? Like I haven't seen anybody use the sleeves, but do, do people have them? Is that like a pre-order thing? Hmm. Against Scoured Barons. I think I, I kind of want to just like dig towards a Nicol Bolas. Does, does anybody know if those things are available yet? Oh. 
Sucker creature. Oh, whoops. I didn't play this. I meant to play this. The Golgari bundle is on sale at the moment. Won't see the kitty one until it's the last one on the list. Oh, I didn't I didn't realize that there were multiple of them. Oh, there was just one. So there's multiple of them, and so there's multiple of the sleeves. Spyglass. Good thing we have a lot of artifact tape. He said the the bundle people got their code right away for arena, but the regular ones didn't seem to come with the codes right away. Hmm. All right, so the opponent did say Lockmere Serpent. Keep me from activating it, which it does have three activated abilities. How did my opponent know? Spyglass. You you get to look at your opponent's hand whenever whenever my you play Spyglass. So they they yeah like that's that's the thing about Spyglass. You look at your opponent's hand. So you know that's that's why it has the revealed eye, the revealed eye of Sauron. It's okay, Mabby. Oh. I'll have to order. Tw Ugh, what a whiner! So it's like an Orzov discard control deck. What we got going on over here? Something that puts cards in our hand. Definitely be valuable. Maybe I want to enter the God Eternals. I mean, it is removal that also puts a body into play. So that's not bad. Do I want to enter the God Eternals over any of these cards? Maybe over Drown in the Lock. What is these secret vault things? I went to the website and found it so confusing I just gave up. That seems pretty accurate. It's just something that's very confusing. Yeah, the vaults, the yeah, the paper cards. Yeah, it's it's just I think it's just like a box of paper cards, I guess. JJ with a Twitch Prime sub. Welcome, JJ. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I appreciate that. That's sub number nine. One away from the next sub goal. How many different ones are there? And does each one have a different arena sleeve as well? I 
There's a sliver one. Ah, oh, thanks, JJ. There's seven ones. There's seven different ones with seven different sleeves. Ugh. I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to get seven different sleeves. I hope they I hope that somebody's just I hope that people just sell the sleeves on eBay and I can get the sleeves for like two or three dollars. Like a code for the sleeves. That's what I'm hoping. I guess I could have just played the castle. And then I could scry and put the calf net on top. You bought all seven sleeves for $15 on eBay? Oh, nice. Hmm. So this gives them Doom Foretold back. Oh, well, thank you so much there, JJ. Thank you. All right, well, I guess it doesn't make too much sense to play the Dragon God into this Doom Foretold. Play it first. Yeah, Candice, it starts at noon Pacific. So it starts the exact same time I'll be streaming. That Bone Crusher Giant was pretty clutch. Certainly regret not playing the not playing the castle, the blue castle earlier when I had the chance. And I don't think I shuffle. I think I, because we have the Kefnet in two turns, I think that's a pretty valuable card. But right now, Fen Lurker can just grow to be a two-two.
If I swift end the Fen Lurker, we do get to play the Murderous Rider. But right now it's a 1-1. One, one. I kind of want them to use to put mana into the Fen Lurker. First. Yeah, right in time for Grixis Control. You're in the first match. We're up a game. And we're obviously in a very good spot with this game. Revealing doesn't do anything, but I always like to just reveal my cards because it's it's just something different. It's not the good play to reveal. Huh. Maybe we'll get your opponent to concede, though. Maybe it was the optimal play. Yeah, there's, there's four Bedevils, two Riders... Yeah, you don't get to reveal, or you don't get to cast Swift End off of Kefnet. Yeah, that was the good play. Hey, Brant, GG's. I like your Orzhov deck. Where's my GG emote? There we go. GG's. All right, what we got? We got a keepable one. We got a keepable one. Basically, turn two Thought Erasure on the play. Probably keepable. Your hand would have to be pretty bad to not keep that. Oh, there you go. Cool, your son got to watch you play? That's awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Glad to hear. We must erasure your thoughts. It's a pretty good hand. Um, draw two or a two three and draw one. Let's get rid of the draw the two three draw one. Some pretty epic art there. Any challenge to Azorius authority is met with swift and potent retribution. Dang. Pico! Pico T. Gaio. Thanks, Pico. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub.
Raise the alarm's pretty good against Rampage. Oh, that gets us to our 10th sub in the day. All right, hit a sub goal towards our next 12-hour stream. So that's sub goal number 14 out of 20. So yeah, we do a... Each sub goal is 10 subs on a day, and then after 20 sub goals, I do a 12-hour stream to celebrate. So we are now six sub goals away from the next one. Nah. You can get arrested, Kefnet. You don't need to go back to the library. Spend too much time reading books and everything anyway. We'll see if they attack into our Kefnet. I thinking maybe they would. Arcane Fox also getting that Twitch Prime sub in here. Let's get some more hype boats in the chat. Of course, reveal Watery Grave. And it certainly looks like my opponent's a you know newer player with a newer deck. Un unfortunately, Nickel Bull's Dragon God is like the meanest card to play against newer players. Thanks, Arcane Fox. You have no weakness that I cannot exploit. I guess they did did get rid of the thing that would have killed my Kefnet if I would have attacked. <laughs> yeah, no, even shocking the one one token opponent dream destroyed. All right, the above average guard mage is in here. Just not convinced that card's too elite. It's above average though. The legit guard mage. So they had another summary judgment. I'm picking up what they're putting down over here. I'm not sure if they know they can exile the, their lands in play. I'm not sure if they realize that. There we go. All right, cool. My intellect is without limit. Of the 
weak. Okay. The old side bread. Mm. Doesn't seem like we need Ritual of Soot. We'll get some campaigns in here. And to be honest, we probably don't need too much of anything. Gonna take out the drown in the locks because their curve seemed kind of high. See what the shock said. Seemed to really kill too much. I was just kind of replacing those with some counter spells. Lock Mirror Serve was your favorite card in the set? Nice. I'm gonna go risky here because I can. I'm gonna put back the Fable Passage. They would just be getting the uh, swamp. By not the swamp, sorry, the mountain. They'd get the mountain. Basically, I, like, mana-wise, I should be putting back the castle. But I didn't really want to put back castle. And also, I can be greedy here because I'm not too worried about too much pressure. So I can be greedy here also of leading with disinformation campaign first and then Thought Erasure to pick it back up. Are all the cards that my opponents have played so far been Ravnica Allegiance? Like, is is this a limited deck? Like, this might have been their draft deck, honestly. Which, it's a pretty sweet draft deck. It is a pretty sweet draft deck. Okay, it's a it's a precon. No, don't don't play that on your Senate Guard uh Guild Mage. Don't do that. Serpent. So yeah, even even the basics are Ravnica Allegiance and same with the Guild Gates.
Yeah, disinformation campaign's been awesome. It's nine mana, they draw three, we or we draw three, they discard three. But you know, like it It's definitely worth it for one card. Hey, what's up, Vorpal Tribble? With that Twitch Prime sub. Staying on the five month streak. Getting a whole bunch of hype votes for it. Thanks, Vorpal. I have not attacked my opponent yet this match. So I'm not I'm not beating him up too much. We haven't done any attacking at all. Even though I think that may change here now. Uh, that card's good. Why do we get the good Kefnet hits this time? Our deck just doesn't close out these games very fast. I mean, I guess it could have slammed Serpent. Okay. Indestructible Guild Mage. Let my opponent win. Uh, that'd be pretty tough to let my opponent win from here. I know I only have one red source. I just don't really like the mountain. It's like the, the basic mount is like break glass in case of emergency mountain. The Rakdos Fires deck. Um I'm I'm really not sure what the what the Covetous Urge is specifically supposed to target. There's there's certainly something that it's there's definitely a job that it's supposed to do in the deck and I'm not sure what that job is but there's there's definitely like a specific reason to be playing that card
Hope they don't have a sweeper. That'd be bad. No, it doesn't change colors. Rule Galta has a chance in Historic. Um, I'm not sure how good Galta is in that, if Galta is really too necessary. You kind of need to be able to give Galta haste. Expensive creatures without haste are not really things to be that interested in with um, Oko in the format. Sodo with the cheers. Thank you so much there, Sodo. Thanks for the bits. My question was, I've been running Hardened Scales and Pioneer. I'm looking to replace the four slots that Once Upon a Time filled. Any suggestions? Um, I honestly don't know exactly what the, that deck list looks like. If you have, like, maybe, like, a link to a, a Hardened Scale Once Upon a Time... Or, sorry, a Hardened Scales Pioneer list. Um, I, myself, have never played Pioneer... But I'm pretty familiar with all the cards in the format because I've played standard throughout the life of of that quite a bit since we returned to Ravnica. Hello. But I so I don't know exactly what it does and doesn't have already. Galta costs two mana. It's expensive. It, it costs two mana if, if your life is great. It does, but it does not always cost two mana. Yeah, because basically... So, yeah, the Enter the God Eternal is dealt, dealt four damage to the 4-4, four four, but it has to continue. You have to, like, just basically you have to finish with the card, and the card also... Um, does a mass four and it does turn it into an eight eight so it basically just completes the card and it grows it to be um, an eight eight with four damage on it. I always think that's kind of fun how it looks um, on arena. That's why I did it. I guess we just won a game. I guess. So Legion's End and Cry of the Carnarium are the two obvious ones. This is not a very... I mean, this is a, it's kind of a weird Enter the God Eternals matchup. I guess I don't really want to mill my opponent with um, my Cauldron Familiar opponent. So we have to mill ourselves. I don't really love milling ourselves either. Hmm. I'm thinking about taking out Shock. Because we already have four Bone Crusher Giants and two Crowther Canariums to kill smaller things, then you know now we just put in Legion's End and Ritual of Set. So I actually think I'm gonna take out Shock. I think I want to keep like these top end cards to to win. Discovery is another option, but 
we don't have like a whole lot of uh, win cons and so like we may need like the discoveries to help us look for them. Hmm. Never mind. Too many win cons. So this is really just a five card hand, basically. I mean, I guess a six card hand, but kind of want to mulligan this. We have one island, an island, a swamp. And we'll get this. All right, we'll, we'll keep this. Why no mystical dispute in the sideboard? So this is a Jun deck now. Hmm. Guess I probably could have sideboard better against Jund. Probably. Wow. Yeah, probably could have sideboard better here. Hardened Scales is in here somewhere. Alright, I haven't seen it yet. Alright, I'll keep looking. Um... Basically, holding the Murderous Rider because of Liliana. That's why I didn't Murderous Rider the last turn. Are you sure there's a list in here? For again, hardened scales. Okay, there we go. There's the hardened scales. Well, that this hardened scales doesn't play once upon a time. By Dark Kind, Dark Kind ninety six. No, it just has all the, all the decks here.
Is that the one you're talking about? Or is there a different one? I don't know. I, I... Oh. By H O E G or H O E J. Well, one I would, I would look at. I'm I'm not finding that list anywhere. I mean, I, I'll look at that the Dark Kind '96 list and see see what you're not playing there because that that list doesn't have any. Once upon a times. Can I get another creature in here so that these two creatures don't die to Liliana? All right, that's fine. Opponent does not have five cards in the graveyard right now. Wizards website's just not not good. I'm gonna just go to Goldfish and look. There we go. I found a I found a link to the deck that you're talking about just like immediately by going to Goldfish. <laughs> there we go. There's the deck. This isn't your average zombie horse. Impressive. Isn't yeah. Basically, basically, I would use the um. Effective. I'd use the the other one as a guide. Of like whatever it, it has in it that you don't have. Like it definitely seems like you need to play like two more lands or something, because I think the other one had more than twenty one lands. They were a lousy servant anyway. Okay, we're back at it. But yeah, basically go to like the dark this dark kind ninety six deck. I guess they're only playing twenty two lands. But you can see they just Oh, right. I forgot that thing had flash. Sorry. I forgot this thing had flash. Yeah, my bad. I did not need to main phase that. Yes, Domo. That is correct. They're not playing the Casualties of War. I should have done this before the Mayhem Devil was in play, it looks like. We're 
You're gonna be able to kill my Bone Crusher Giant pretty easily. That's alright. All right, those are good, two good dra uh, draws. We get to kill the Witch's Oven and the Mayhem Devil. And I can kill the Paradise Druid. I don't have the mana for all three. So if I cycle land, I'll have six lands. This is still a good amount of land. That's good. Are you kidding me? Come on. That's a good draw, too. That's surprising. They just let me gain two life. Surprising. Basically impossible to have the Lockmere Serpent exile the Cauldron Familiar, since we can only do our sorcery speed. Mm. 
Oh, yeah, I gotta do this. Gotta use all those black sources. The whole of the multiverse will bend to my will. Well, this could just be like instant speed, but during our turn, you know, if it's only like just during our turn. Let your weak minds crumble. No, I mean, casualties of war is going to wreck us. I mean, but we're already just so far behind with this with familiar oven trail of crumbs. No, there's no no reason to be worried about Corvold whenever familiar oven trail of crumbs just kills us. Which is a it's a really, really slow death, but they're killing us with the card advantage and the the damage. You will wipe your bloodline from existence. Why are they attacking in and letting me gain life? That us draw, cry the carnarium. Them, them play duress immediately afterwards. Man, what a, what a killer turn. I just can't stop this. Uh, big play that was pretty important also was how I used I used the two bedevils that turn, like one to kill Mayhem Devil, one to kill Witch's Oven, because I wanted to save the two life. But if I would have just played the Murderous Rider instead of the Bedevil, I would have, you know, if I would have just kept the Bedevil in hand, I would have the Bedevil for this oven here that I could have had a while ago. I mean, we have Cry the Carnarium, like, which would have been perfect here, but it got stolen. Yeah, I think this is over. The th Just like when is Theros, like this, like when is the Theros set being released? Um, it's in late January is when Theros is being released. If that's your question, there, yellow. Next set is in mid mid to late January.
basically all, all I can do right now is just play a really long game. Make my opponent use a whole lot of time. So official spoilers will probably start um, usually like a month out, so probably like around Christmas is when we'll get start getting the official spoilers for the new set. Uh, the current Theros spoilers leaked because somebody found like some packs of Theros like randomly in like a Walmart. So like, you know, they found like five or six booster packs or something like that randomly in a Walmart or some kind of similar type store that I guess had gotten mixed in with some other. You know, like product, something like that. So they are at 19 cards in their library. I don't know if we can mill them out. I don't know. Probably unlikely. Ooh, uh... Hey, Steve Supremo. Got back from volunteering for kitten yoga. That where you take your cats in and the cats do yoga. I guess I'm kind of unfamiliar of what kitten yoga is. All right, that's a that's a big that's the second oven we've gotten rid of, right? Yeah. 
So it's kittens that are up for adoption, and people do yoga with them running around. And if they like them, then they then they can adopt them. Ah, that's awesome. Do you sit around like a laser pointer to make the kittens play and stuff so to make people like the kittens more? Or you place the kittens on people, you're like, here, take a look at this cat. <laughs> you don't know what kitten yoga is? You've cat to be kitten me. <laughs> Another oven. Got 16 cards in the library. Um, I don't I don't think there's like really a bad option in standard as far as opening packs from um, the core set is probably the worst one But either set with the shock lands if you don't have shock lands or throne of Eldrain has a lot of really good stuff um, it's basically the best thing to do is like if there's a specific deck that you're kind of trying to build towards or you know a deck that you like look at your deck and see where the rares are not really commons on commons mythics but look for like where like what set has the most rares that's in your deck list and kind of and you know open booster packs accordingly Whenever you sacrifice a permanent, you put a 1-1 counter on it and draw a card. Got 13 cards in library. It's pretty unlikely that we're going to mill them out. So, of course, the, the Rampage was not really a, a great play there. I'm kind of going towards making them draw more cards. Looks like they're willing to draw more. All right, so they have 10 minutes to beat me for game three. 
after they only they only spent like two minutes on the first game. Hey, what's up, Mary? Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub for the second month. So why Rampage first? To make them draw another card. Come on, computer. Nothing's happening right now. Waiting for it to go to sideboarding. There we go. Okay. So now that we know that they're a Jund deck, how does this change what I want to do? I want to play all these negates. Definitely want all the negates. I probably want all these drowned in the locks also. Yes, I do. Just want to be able to counter ovens and trailer crumbs. I don't want these rampages. Don't really love Ritual of Soot either, honestly. Definitely don't want to enter the God Eternals. Serpent is just pretty poor finisher for this matchup. I mean, I guess I can make it unblockable. Maybe I'm supposed to be making it unblockable more. Yeah, the giant's pretty mad. Rampage doesn't destroy oven, though, because they just sacrifice and they get the food and they just sacrifice the food. It's, it's really, really hard to get a Witch's Oven with a Rampage. It has to be, like, this turn specifically, basically. Okay, yeah, we're playing against the kitty deck. Ugh, that's not a good one. I do need one more land. I'm kind of greedy not, not keeping one of the lands. Because, you know, we get... Because, you know, we'd get that draw step, and then basically we have three more draw steps before we need the, the other land. But we do need one more land for the Dragon God. Oh, come on. Midnight Reaper. Come on. I just have one card in the graveyard. This doesn't even kill Midnight Reaper. Yeah, like with their with their three mana and the oven familiar setup, that's the best draw in their deck was that Reaper. Just takes out my Drown the Lock and draws them too.
GG's. Our hand was awesome. So I had a good one too, but just couldn't stop this. And of course our, our only hope is drawing another Bedevil here. Which, you know, we have three more Bedevils in the deck. There's four in here. We have to draw another one and kill the oven. Should have taken out this Lockmere Serpent. It's not doing anything. Well, I mean, if I, you know, I did have all those other draws that I, I put these two lands away. But if I would have kept, if I would have, if I would have kept the land, would have been able to curve. Nickel Bolas. I mean, obviously Nickel Bolas would just die to these things, though, but we'd at least be able to play it, maybe get to lock me or I don't know. They're just going to die to their removal. All right, we're going to reset Arena. Bunch of very optimal draws there for our opponent. Yeah, we could definitely use more Cry of the Carnariums because Cauldron Familiar is a very big part of the metagame. And so just having two, two Cry of the Carnariums in the sideboard, that's just not enough. And yeah, we could definitely have more. I agree that we could have a main deck for sure. Like the shocks, the the shocks haven't really looked very good. Like whenever whenever we have four Bone Crusher Giant, we just don't really need shock. Also, the shocks could be Cry of the Canariums. All right, so it looks like a ramp deck. And unfortunately, we have two Lockmere Serpents in hand, but they don't have anything going on over there. Maybe we can get to them. No, that no. I like the Legion's End. I think there's a good amount of aggro decks the Legion's End's good against. Also, oh, that's perfect. Turn three, Cavalier Thorns. That was a good draw.
It's possible I'm just supposed to be holding that until... Until there's Risen Reef. If I shocked in here, I could have the shock plus bone crusher, you know, like block cavalier and then shock it to kill it. Then they would get back Krasis. I wouldn't mind like Dragonfire either instead of Shock, where Dragonfire has is exile in. Harness the elements. That could be a good one too. Go, Serpent, go! have the one island to sacrifice to make it unblockable. Well, there's another. I need them to like not block for one turn. Uh, if they just didn't block there. Because if they just don't block for one turn, then I get to play the Serpent and then make them both unblockable. Um, I'm sure they probably gain enough life though, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, never mind. They just gain enough life to stay alive though still. Oh, then out of the Bone Crusher Giant, they would have killed him. So yeah, if they would have just taken that, we could have killed them. No matter how bad it seems, I'm still no I'm still glad no more Oko when I see blue green. Yeah, me too. The one one thing with historic. Don't love playing against Oko. It's it's an it's an annoying card to play against. No, Serpent's not legendary. So yeah, if they would not have blocked there, we would have had lethal.
I mean, I can technically stay alive by doing the Enter the God Eternals and then also sacrificing another swamp. I guess I just do that. That's just a for certain stay alive. God, those were four really good cards. Cavalier Finale, Duplicate, Agent of Treachery. Yeah, th this looks like the just the list from the Mythic Championship. They had like one Agent of Treachery, like two Finale, two Quasi Duplicate. No, I just hit my opponent with Double Serpent and put them down to eight. They didn't block either of these. They were at 22. I didn't have lethal by shocking them. Hmm. Brazen borrower to bounce one? I mean, I guess I could cast... I guess the... I guess the Bone Crusher Giant doesn't matter. So it's just if they have something, I'm dead. I don't know how Thought Erasure would really help. Shows us that they don't have anything... Obviously, they did have something. They would have just played it before that. Okay, I feel like we stole that one. I guess the Serpents did great. Yes, Hatred, I did get a new system, a new computer. Um, it's Everything's in the came in the mail already except for the... Uh, the case, for some reason, got delayed, and that's not going to come in until Tuesday, so we have to wait till then. Um, I know I went with, we got a Ryzen computer with some fancy specs. But that's about all I could tell you about it. Ugh. Why do we have this Bone Crusher Giant in our blue black control deck? That's weird. Alright, hopefully, no Veil of Summer.
Hmm. Definitely thought about just taking the growth spiral there. Obviously I didn't, but definitely thought about it. Looks like I should have. Still got to ramp into Krasis before I could play my Narset. Blue mana would be really nice to be able to play Narset and have Disdainful Stroke open. Maybe they just have two lands, or land and a mana creature. My prowess is unmatched by my peers. I have just Ugh, there's all those lands I need. All on the bottom now. That's the great part about Narset. It's all the lands you need to the bottom. Oh, I'm so sorry, Yura. I'm, yeah, I'm praying for your cat. Wow. I was not expecting that to be the end of the game. All right, we're three and one. Play first. That was not turn two Thought Erasure. That was turn two Drown and Unlock. Couldn't keep that. Sit down right here, instead of right in front of the screen. I guess I'm supposed to Fable Passage first and grab Mountain. It's just, grabbing Mountain is just pretty poor. You know, we don't, we don't get to, don't get to Thought Erasure on turn two, stuff like that. Uh, just hate grabbing the Mountain right away. All right, now we can grab Mountain. We'll still have Thought Erasure, all that kind of stuff afterwards. Okay. Looks like it's a flash. You live in Sweden and, and your cat's been gone for for four days. 
and she's not usually gone for more than an hour. Oh man, and yeah, sure hope she's okay. <laughs> yeah, my putt tail. Yeah, they would have main deck tails end the fable passage. That would have been rough. They're probably just hitting with a whole bunch of counter spells, and I'm just hitting with a bunch of removal. Unfortunately, they have the Castle Vantress. They get to keep scrying. I don't have a Castle Vantress. I don't get to start scrying. So should get rid of one counter spell. All right, we got a cutthroat out of there too. We just had one more mana to play the Bone Crusher to also play the Bone Crusher Giant. That would be been a really good turn. Yeah, really, really hope you find her, Yara. Four cards in the graveyard right now for the serpent. Basically, they weren't going to use that three mana anyway. So make them counter it on their turn where they got to use their mana. I wish I would have shocked in. <laughs> oh, all right. They're shocking that to get rid of my Bone Crusher Giant. So 
So obviously we do have the Bedevil for the Ember Cleave. We can just kill their creatures. Yeah, Embercleave does not seem worthwhile in the deck at all. I agree. Hey, Baloney Pony. <laughs> yeah. We had some, some bad draws with the, the Rakdos sack deck for sure. That happens, though. Yeah, that was rough. I should, I should play this before they draw a counter spell. But of course, now they know they need to find something to deal with the serpent. All right, so they took something over Brineborn Cutthroat. What do they got? The Bone Crusher Giant. All right, if we bring in all those things, cut some of this expensive sorcery speed stuff. Rampage is not expensive, but it is sorcery speed. Do I really want Narset? Do I really want disinformation campaign? Yeah, I want Campaign. Do I want Narset? Maybe I'm not supposed to play Narset. Maybe I don't play Kefnet? I think Narset, Kefnet, Rampage are my least favorite cards here. Oh, yeah, Narset's very good against Gadwick. That's a good point. We're going to cut one Kefnet, one Rampage, and... Guess another Rampage. Or just a Nickel Ball as Dragon God. No, just another Rampage. This hand is amazing against Brineborn Cutthroat. 
but very bad if my opponent just plays lands and I guess I can just fire off Bone Crusher Giants at them though. They just, you know, just keep firing off lands at me. You're, you know, just like play land pass. Like basically if we play like the same game we just played the last game, we'd have to like go to discard pretty early here. Cards were not ideal. It's a good trade for us getting rid of a negate for just a shock. It's good. Trying to play around um, Quench a little bit here. You're going to blast on this thing? That's not the worst for me. Oh no! Oh, my poor opponent. They definitely meant to just add the two counters and then just click to the wrong part of blast zone. That is not what they wanted to do. Man, I thought about shocking to play around Mystical Disputes, too. Should have. Now I'm now I'm leading open to quench too. That was a bad turn for me. But obviously we still have Bone Crutcher Giant in play. That was a really bad turn for me. All right, the red land. They only got two cards left. Hopefully one of them is Ember Cleave. Maybe the other one is like Ember Cleave. They're sitting with two Ember Cleaves.
Scry 2 to the top. Uh oh. What are they going to have that they want both cards on top? That's not going to be good enough. That'll do. That'll do. All right, we gotta do two more points of damage. They got the castle though now. And I don't. Thankfully, they're out of the gates by now, right? Right? I just played poorly with that disinformation campaign. I could have gotten another counter spell out of their hand. And that obviously could be the difference here. All right, Bone Crusher Giant. Shock. Either one. Nope. So taking the card that counters. You know, if we drew another Bone Crusher Giant or Shock. We can pay for double Mystical Dispute. Three Ionize, three Negate, three Dispute, and a Quench. What? Why don't they... I mean, if I'm them, I'm just unloading both of those Disputes. And growing this cutthroat to be five power. And tapping me out so I don't wouldn't get to play anything else. Alright, well we found a castle. Wow, they're just tapping out. I don't feel like that's the correct thing to be doing there. I feel like they should draw like, you know, draw like four cards and then keep three mana open. That'd make a lot more sense. Thought Erasure, pick up campaign, cast campaign, cast Nickel Bolas. I can cast all these things. I guess that's probably not going to be good enough. How many burn spells am I really looking at? There's three more in the deck. If I just put these both down to the bottom. So 
So it would be we have a 10% chance. No, they're not almost out of cards. They're at 31. They're about to draw 7 here. But obviously we're we're going down to 4 and then even if like, you know, the nickel bolts would kill one of these, the other one puts us down to 1. So we'd be very close to being dead. If I keep Thought Erasure for an extra Surveil, isn't that just the same as getting rid of it and not spending the two mana? Sample Strokes basically just for Gadwick. Is that better than Rampage? And just a Legion's End. I mean, that, that game was because... I mean, I messed up that game. We should have won. I messed that game up with how I, I didn't shock in to protect against Mystical Dispute. I didn't, I didn't play around Mystical Dispute a turn that I really needed to. That's what cost me that. Had that misplay there. We we had not seen mystical dispute at all from them, you know, and it turned out they played. You know, they had three of them. It turned out so. Definitely learned to start playing around mystical dispute. I wonder if I should have just chosen to be on the draw. I kind of feel like I should have. I kind of feel like this is a matchup where I want the extra card. I wonder if this was a, a matchup to, to just choose to be on the draw. Castle is, of course, pretty in instrumental in my opponent doing well here. Ooh. 
we want to be able to to play towards like we want to get to like where quench mystical disputes aren't really affecting us it's like the more that we just trade land drops the better and we do want land drops so i'm not fetching with fabled passage right now because i wouldn't mind drawing land because obviously if we don't hit land drops we're gonna have to start going to discard They have to act first because they they were gonna miss land drop and have to go to discard. I should lead with Bone Crusher Giant first. But oh well. So unless they have like negate plus dispute plus dispute. Basically trying to kinda of trying to tap my opponent out that let us resolve the Kefnet. Let's just kind of see what happens here. Down to 11. They still have four cards. I only have the two plus the one in play. 
They're doing better on cards. Oh, that's kind of worst case scenario here. At least for like that turn, put such a fast clock on me. So we just have to pray the Cafnet resolves. And then they don't have another borrower to bounce it. Well, it's going to resolve. But Gatwick will be able to tap all my stuff. So we need a removal. Gatwick's so good. You know, they just drew six cards. That card's incredible. Well, then it not only draws six cards, but it's also a threat that I have to kill because otherwise they just play a blue spell, tap my stuff, you know, play opt, tap my cap nap. So it should be game. Well, learn my lesson for not playing around Mystical Dispute. The, the, uh, the second game there. And I think, I think I should have chosen to be on the draw. I think. I don't know. Gadwick is just really, really strong. Yeah, too many cards of those Gadwick schemes, two and three. Um, but yeah, so there we go. That's Grixis Control. Uh, let's see. So about the deck. I think that two shock and four Bone Crusher Giant is too much shocks. I honestly just don't really like Angrass Rampage either. I don't think this is a very good Angrass Rampage metagame. I think it was great whenever the Oko was in the format. Because you needed, like, two mana answers for Oko, and there was just more Planeswalkers. Right now, a lot of the decks are just playing a lot of creatures, and the whole Sacrifice a Creature bit isn't very strong. Sacrifice an Artifact's not very strong either against Witch's Oven because they have a bunch of food tokens. So I, I just don't like Angrass Rampage, and I don't really like having shocks on top of Bone Crusher Giants. I think the Bone Crusher Giants are awesome, but I wouldn't really play... Rampage or Shocks. I don't really like those cards. I'd rather have, like, Counter Magic does just seem awesome right now. I'd rather have, like, Counter Magic, Legion's End. You know, I'd rather have these kind of cards instead of those. Certainly wish we could have Gadwick in this deck. Um, I know people have been asking for me to retry the Demir control deck, with, and that has Gadwick in it. I definitely loved it. That and, and I kind of feel like that red's not really necessary. You know, if I'm talking about like not playing these cards, we just don't play red. We just get a lot better mana base and not play red, even though Bone Crusher Giant's awesome. But you know, with just a blue black mana base, you can play, you can support Gadwicks. And I think that's just better than what red's giving you. Kefnet was pretty meh. Serpent, 
Serpent was good. I think I need to try Serpent more in the Demir shell. I need to kind of give Serpent some more try. I don't know if I really like two Serpents. But I think that having one Serpent is a really good option. Just, you know, it does it can finish out games quickly. We definitely, you know, outraced like that Hydroid Crisis there with the two Serpents. Like We really stole a win by having the two Serpents. So Serpent was definitely good. But I'm not sure about two serpents. Yeah, that's the that's kind of the problem of cutting red is is having to cut nickel bolus. Nickel bolus is so sweet. Where's the Demir deck we played the other day? I didn't like the Cavalier Gales, and I remember not not really liking the Borrowers, even though the Borrowers helped us. Like one of the one of the games, we got to outrace opponents because of Borrower. But this this Cavalier, I think Lockmare Serpent would be better than this Cavalier, probably better than the Kefnet too. I think the Kefnet and the Cavalier, those two cards weren't very good, so those could be Serpents. Then I didn't have like duress in my sideboard. It kind of needs some duresses. But I, I, I think I just I liked what this deck was doing more. I think I liked Gadwick <clears throat> more. And just kind of more counter magic with having sabotage and negate. Counter magic's pretty good. Um, we didn't really resolve Bolas too much. Yeah, and Tyrant Scorn's pretty good. And Tyrant Scorn is just awesome with when you're playing Borrower, Murderous Rider, Gadwick, like these things that you don't mind, like you, that you can just put back into your hand. Um, you know, if you if you need another Murderous Rider, I guess you wouldn't really put back Borrower unless they were trying to kill Borrower. This is the deck you were talking about that you really, really like? Cool. So you said you, you struggled with this deck. You said you struggled sometimes against other control decks, right? You've been playing it a lot and been doing really well with against other creature decks, but you've struggled against con other control decks. Serpent Serpent would be probably be better than these against control decks with it, with it having flash. I remember I really liked Obnexus's Cruelty. I don't like I don't really like Mystical Dispute, honestly. <coughs> I think I just want like duress instead. Or more negate disdainful stroke. Things like that. I don't think you'd necessarily need to have mill for Serpent and Drown. I mean you do have Jace that can mill your opponent a little bit. But that's good enough. All right, so we'll we'll try this deck again tomorrow. Definitely play one serpent. I kind of don't want to play the Kefnet. I kind of want to play something else. Should probably just be a Narset. May have like two Narsets in the main. Take out one of the borrowers. And then that that gives us spots for two duress. And then just the fourth negate. And one disdainful stroke instead of these disputes. Maybe just two disdainful strokes. All right. So anyway, yeah, there you go. So that's just kind of another suggestion there for the Grixis. It, it just doesn't feel like... Because, of course, our mana is pretty rough with that. We have to play all these Fabled Passages, which aren't really that great. And, you know, lots and lots of Shock Lands. We have to take a lot of damage from our lands. Um, playing the two colors lets you just play more castles and just have a lot better mana base. And I, and I think that's really kind of the way to go instead of the three colors here. Hey, Beer Canthic, thank you so much for that resub there. 
All right, those of y'all um, watching on YouTube, make sure to hit that like button over there. I would appreciate that. But that's going to be it here for Grixis Control. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.